Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games on game design, and we are back with more Oxen Free for the third time. Well, I guess if you don't know that we separate things by recording sessions, but you guys voted for this um, again. So we're back, and hopefully this time we, we should be finishing. I think at this point, really, even if we don't finish it in this recording session, we're just going to plan on finishing it anyway, because, you know, three, three voting, three recording sessions worth of content, you've already voted for it twice, I feel like at this point, it's gonna be finished no matter what. Plus, the ball is definitely rolling. Yeah, right. We how can we stop now that everything has gotten as crazy as it has? So uh, last we left off, it was Clarissa. We saw jump out of a window. Was yeah. that it? Yeah, and then we were chasing her because her body wasn't there when we came down. Yes. Hey, hey, I. And now I we're saw going. You guys up there. coming up from the tower, the Dick Tower. Red. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. <laughs> How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, That's not she's good. frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like Vicky. Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just... We, Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one, all right? It's just God damn it, me man. Out. It'll it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings uh, me. fine. If that's what it takes to get you through the night, then okay. Great. That's what'll get you killed, it. Ren. I just needed it now. Oh god. <sighs> uh. He's so dumb. It's <laughs> like, dude, you were possessed and freaking out. Yeah. I just realized that, well, oh, never mind. That's what? stupid. I was going to say the, the like, shape of this, the this stairway up that work. tower Not is impossible. I'm getting some But I guess but all like, of those stairs could just be in know. front of the tower. Hey, I figured Nona. they would circle around the going, huh? radio tower. I heard you on huh. the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. What? Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. Speaker. But hey, I'm have just you figured everything. out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, to tell you the truth, Nona, I don't think you really want to know. Alex, don't treat me like a pet. It's okay. The Blue Streak version is its ghost. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Yeah, she's dead. a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but Her she's... house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop, and these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm so worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want to trust you when things are really bad? I mean, on, justified Jonas, tension. Fault. Ghosts are never yeah. anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious. Well. Even the cheap seats. Uh, oh, uh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something cool, a phone. Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. Listen, we're all thinking <laughs> what I'm saying. Jonas is clearly a total weirdo that would rather him save the day than let anyone else be Whoa. right. How can you... How can you say that you're in the right? Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? 
take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of... Sorry. Carry on. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna try to mention some of this stuff, like, into that it earlier, so maybe we'll legitimate find out why. Means? Yeah. What are you even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You... Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, we're still... We're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like... Like, I want to be, like, needed. Just... <sighs> Just fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Damn. That yeah. was intense. I, I One thing I did really like about that whole scene was that Nona was standing outside of that room, and she was like, not necessarily the voice of reason, but she was the one being like, this is getting way out of control. Like, not getting involved any more than that. I thought that was a, a smart decision to, like, physically separate her. Even, mm -hmm. like, since she was already separated from the argument. Yeah, and it definitely shows that, I mean, I think Ren was getting jealous of Jonas even before all this went down. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he, he even at the very beginning, when, uh... When Jonas was like, hey, can we, like, stay back a little bit while Ren goes off? Yeah. And even he kind of got weird about that. So I wonder if, like... I mean, it'd be interesting to do this with other people. Like, other characters. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I picked Jonas because he's seen everything that I've seen so far. So, like, mm. the crazy hangman thing... Larissa thing, like, he knows everything. I'd have to get Ren up to speed yeah, he and has... Ren just ate a pot brownie so <laughs> getting him up to speed wouldn't be easy. Yeah, no, absolutely, I, I agree. Not to say he would be totally unreliable but, like... But he's he... a he's a higher risk. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I feel like that's pretty sound logic. At least, yeah, that's why I picked him, but I am curious what the other things would have, like, what else would have happened. Plus, you've already had to save, um... Ren. Ren from, like... I guess, technically, Jonas was possessed at one point. But not to the level that... That Ren was. Yeah. And, and I mean, I suppose Jonas does have some loops in in memory, or gaps in memory from those, like, okay, weird look, loop parts, I'm gonna but... say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important. Because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Hey, I was just the girl on the sidewalk watching the car crash happen in slow motion. But you should nip it in the bud with Ren when we get back. Just say you're sorry. <sighs> Fine. For you, I will apologize to Ren when I see him. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. Ooh. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. I think... Oops. Not that one. And I just wanted you... I wanted to see the map, because I think we do need to go... 
Which it, way do we need to go? It looks like going oh, no. down to Epiphany Field would be the Better. best route. Okay, so in I'm fact, going it may to... not even connect at the campgrounds. It looks like a huge gap. Yep, you're right. I need to go back the other way. Okay, that's why I. You know, that. so I'm going it the wrong way. wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why do you, um, why do you do it? Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know. I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. And I'm not going to defend myself. My mom oh, found out, that. of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Yeah, well, you're preaching to the choir on that one. I'm not going to say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? <laughs> Say it. I'm a good guy. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. I think this is the right way. Let's hope so. Yeah, we've technically never gone this way because our uh, introduction to the radio tower was we kind of just woke up outside of it I mean, that's Maggie Adler's house. Mm hmm Well, even though we didn't get very far in this, this is a good stopping point, especially since we're in a break between dialogue. Okay. Um, but question of the day, I actually want to talk to you, ask you guys about kind of the dialogue, um, specifically about, like, how they kind of... What, what do you think that they do in writing the dialogue or even the execution of the dialogue? Because this could be purely voice acting, too, that does this. <laughs> um, but what are they doing that makes it feel so organic, so natural? Because there's you've heard plenty of bad voice acting in games, right? Where it just kind of feels scripted in and just like there's not a natural conversation flow to it. I'd actually really like to see how they did the voice recording or the voiceover. How their sessions were? Yeah, because... Like, did they have them together? Yeah, typically what they do is they set one person in the room by themselves, and they're not talking to anyone, they're just reading lines. Um, so that would be fascinating to see. I I don't think they have any footage on their YouTube channel for that, but if, if cool. you guys, the ones, that, if Night School is watching this, you should put that on your YouTube channel, because that'd be cool. I think it's cool when voice actors are in the same space, because acting with a partner is changes it you know mm -hmm. i agree well thank you for watching be sure to vote on what you want to see next because we're going to play this one through to completion at this point um but so we should have three other games up here on on the voting system so and if there's anything up there that you don't like drop a, a comment give us some requests because we happily take those too mm -hmm. thanks for watching everyone see you next time